When we take a look at the veins of our lower limb, we can see that we have a vein that starts right here at the ankle and it goes all the way up. This vein is the great saphenous vein. Guys, the great saphenous vein is the great saphenous vein. It doesn't change names. It's the great saphenous from the ankle all the way up. If you point right here, this is not the popliteal vein. This is all the great saphenous vein. So make sure you don't change the name of the great saphenous vein because that's a great one. When we look here, the femur at the thigh, we have this vein and this is the femoral vein. Now, this is where we would find the inguinal canal. So the femoral vein can be seen up to here. When we pass the inguinal canal, this is what we call the external iliac vein. And since this is the right side, this is the right external iliac vein. And this that we see right here is the internal iliac vein. When the external iliac vein and the internal iliac vein get together, they form the common iliac vein. And when the right common iliac vein and the left common iliac vein get together, they form the inferior vena cava that will take blood back up towards the right atrium of the heart.